Hello Sagittarius, welcome to a love reading. We're gonna be looking at the current energies for you in love and a little bit more um, into your like your person, the person that you're dealing with or have been dealing with or might be dealing with in the future. As always, keep in mind that these readings are meant to be general, so they cannot and will not resonate with every Sagittarius watching. So take what resonates for you, what applies to you. Thank you so much for checking out this reading. I hope you enjoy it. Welcome if you're new. Welcome back if you're a subscriber. I'm so glad that you have stuck by me. And let's jump right into your reading for Sagittarius. Messages, please, for Sagittarius. Oh, I almost lost my cards. For Sagittarius, regarding love and relationships. What are the current... Wow, the three of swords. What are the current energies for Sagittarius in love? We have the Fool, Page of Pentacles, and the Four of Wands. Well, that looks good. What was the Three of Swords about? Seven of Wands at the bottom of the deck. We'll clarify and see. Um, well, the Fool is a card all about taking risks, a whole new beginning. And I feel it's tied to this Page of Pentacles here. Some sort of an offer coming in. Four of Wands is a card about stability, a happy home, rite of passage, celebrating something. There's a lot of yellow here. Yellow is um, a card, of, a card, <laughs> a color about creativity, um, clarity, but I'm also getting like brightness, right? Like it's like, the, it's a happy day. Birds are chirping, the sun is shining, that kind of energy. And the seven of cups is a card about like a choice, choosing the right cup, seeing something for what it truly is, evaluating an option. So. Let's get an energy, some energy oracles for you, Sagittarius, to get a little bit more insight here. So tell us more about the energies for Sagittarius in love. We have a lasting promise, commitment, longevity, future. This connection will stand the test of time. I'm really hoping that someone isn't already married. <laughs> I'm hoping that that's where someone is hoping to have this end up in is a stable commitment. Sudden realization, clarity, truth, epiphany. A sudden realization has brought new clarity. So someone's having a realization about your connection, about how they feel. Um, bottom of the deck is difficult decision. So maybe there's a difficult decision and that's what someone's evaluating here with the Seven of Cups. We'll see. Let's get some clarity out here. Let's start with the Seven of Cups. Tell me more for Sagittarius. What do we need to know, Spirit? What do we need to know? What do we need to know about these energies for Sagittarius? Tell me about the Seven of Cups. What's the Seven of Cups about? Ace of Wands, okay. Evaluating a choice that could lead to a new beginning. Wow, Nine of Cups. Will this make me happy? Is this the right choice? Tell me more about the Seven of Cups. This could be you or your person, Sagittarius, because this is the current energy for you in love, so both of your energies could be here. Three of Pentacles. Okay, tell me more about the Seven of Cups. Working together, building something, teamwork, and the world. Oh yeah, this is definitely a choice that can lead to a new beginning. I feel like that's why the decision is so difficult, because this will be like a big change for someone. The High Priestess is at the bottom of the deck, so... Listening to your intuition. Someone's trying to figure out, I feel this offer, or the person bringing this offer. This could be somebody completely new, Sagittarius, or it could be somebody that you've been talking to, but now they want to make things like more serious or take things to the next level. Someone has had a, re a sudden realization, clarity about what they want. And I feel like they're coming forward with the Fool here, the Page of Pentacles, the Four of Wands. It's like, let's just get this started. Let's have this new beginning, this new start. Tell me about the Fool. Why is the Fool here? Nine of Wands, the Empress. Can I get one more for the Fool? Interesting. Yeah, someone's hesitating. Um, someone doesn't maybe trust that this could be a good thing. Yeah, it's almost like um, it's too good to be true, that kind of energy. 
I feel like someone's worried that this is it's like someone might deceive them or like there has to be something wrong there has to be something I'm missing there has to be something that I'm not quite understanding I feel like whoever is evaluating this offer they don't want to just jump in without thinking about things Maybe they've been hurt in the past. Maybe it's not so easy for them to open up with this Nine of Wands. Nine of Wands tends to be guarded and a little paranoid, defensive, because they've been through so much. So I feel like now that something is making someone very happy or has the potential for happiness, it requires a risk. And someone's like, I don't know if I want to risk my heart again. Tell me about the Page of Pentacles. Why is the Page of Pentacles here? Yeah, Seven of Pentacles. What does the future hold? What will come from this offer? What, where is this leading? What are we? Where, where are we going with this? Yeah, Queen of Swords. Let's talk about it. Aquarius, Libra, Gemini energy there. Tell me more about this Page of Pentacles. Um, the Page of Pentacles is like someone that is dating with intention or making you an offer with like intention for something stable uh, over time like this is someone that takes their time building something uh, three of wands with the ace of cups exactly ace of wands ace of cups here aces are all about new beginnings new starts so with the queen of swords here i'm getting someone that's very honest and direct someone that's very clear but the three of wands is telling me you know maybe the other person wants to take things slow Maybe someone has been waiting to bring this offer to you. Maybe they've been wanting to move things forward and you're not ready, Sagittarius. You can flip that if it resonates more for you. But I feel like someone's worried about the future. They're thinking of the future, future happiness, future stability. Is this too good to be true? You know, I still am getting that energy. Tell me about the Four of Wands. Why is the Four of Wands here? I also get the sense, Sagittarius, that some of you, you haven't been treated this well. You don't know if you can trust it. You don't even recognize this. Maybe in the past, you haven't had someone be direct with you, be dating you with such intensity, or make you as happy. You know, it's like, it's like you're not used to it, and so you don't trust it. Tell me about the Four of Wands. Why is the Four of Wands here? Ten of Pentacles. Holy crap. Tell me about the Four of Wands. The Lovers. Gemini energy. I mean, are you kidding me? This could be a soulmate. Four of Wands. The Lovers. Tell me about the Four of Wands. And the Knight of Cups. Jesus. With the, with the Fool at the bottom of the deck. Okay, Sagittarius. I'm ending the reading here. I mean, what else can I say? This is somebody um, genuine. The Knight of Cups is very genuine, very open with their emotions. Um, Ten of Pentacles, Four of Wands, Ten of Cups is here. I mean, the world is here, the Ace of Wands. And the only cards that make me pause in this whole entire spread is the Nine of Wands and the Seven of Cups. Two cards that are about kind of like anxiety and a a lack of trust like the like the, the seven of pentacles doesn't have certainty over the future and the nine of wands isn't certain about whoever's coming in they're like let me just prepare for anything so i get the sense that this could be some something very beautiful that's coming your way or it's someone that you're talking to that there is a lot of promise for something great and there's just like hesitation <laughs> and it's like why are you hesitating right like it, it's it's that whole thing i feel like a small group of you you've been dating this person for some time um but now it's time to decide if you're going to continue with you know a long-term commitment with this person or not that's the decision you have to make let's get some more insight on this particular person that you have been will be or are dealing with here. Tell me more about this person's energy, the person that Sagittarius is, has, or will be dealing with. What do we need to know for Sagittarius? 
I have a person of Sagittarius to know what their energies. You're always on my mind. What else? What else for Sagittarius? I feel guilty. I wonder why. Let's see what we, when we look at their energy. Why would they feel guilty? Maybe they feel like they're pressuring you. Maybe they feel like, I don't know, like they don't deserve you or because this empress knows their worth. Maybe they feel like they're forcing you to make a difficult decision. And so, you know, they're always on, you're always on my mind. So they're thinking about you a lot. So let's see what else we need to know about this person. Tell me more about this person, Spirit. Tell me about the energies this person is bringing to this connection with Sagittarius. What do we need to know about them? What do we need to know about this other person? What do we need to know about this other person? Wow, Page of Wands, Ace of Pentacles, geez. What do we need to know about this other person? What do we need to know about this other person? And the lovers, Jesus. I mean, I feel like in the Six of Cups at the bottom of the deck, this is a soulmate coming in or that you know, Sagittarius. Could be a Gemini, doesn't have to be, but they're coming in with a serious pentacle. Look at that, Ace of Pentacles, Page of Wands. Let's get this started. I keep getting that energy of, let's begin. I think this person is very intense and it's like they feel bad about that. Maybe because they understand why you have a guard up. You know, tell me about this uh, Page of Wands, Ace of Pentacles, and the Lovers energy. What do we need to know about this energy? Knight of Wands. Yeah, it's like very intense, impulsive, passion energy, justice, Libra energy, and then judgment. Yeah, that's that realization. I feel like this person, now that they've met you, or now that they've that they've had this realization about you it's like let's go let's do this i know you're the one i know you're who i want to be with there's the fool again at the bottom of the deck let's just get this done like let's i <laughs> why do we have to think about it so much i already know that's the energy i'm picking up here it's like i already know sagittarius the only hold up here is you or the only hold up here is this difficult decision that someone feels they have to make maybe being with this person requires that you choose to work a different job or move to a different place or maybe it's someone that you normally wouldn't be with or you normally wouldn't be attracted to um but they're it for you you know i feel like also some of you this is for at least one of you out there you you're wondering if this is it is this who i'm meant to be with and there's like a doubt in your mind and it bothers you I feel like if that's not you, of course, flip this energy, Sagittarius, but this is just what I'm picking up is there's an uncertainty here. The only thing, the only cards in this entire spread, and there's a lot of cards out here. There's a lot of cards on this spread right here. The only ones are the ones about doubt, hesitation, three of wands. Let me, let me think about it. Let me wait. Let me wait and see. You know, let me wait for a result. Um, maybe you want to slow things down, get to know this person a little bit longer. And they're like, no, let's just go. <laughs> you know, there's almost like a little tug of war that's happening there. Let me keep going here. I just want to get a little bit more insight on um, this Knight of Wands. Tell me about this Knight of Wands. Because I feel like, why why the rush? What's going on? What What's motivating this person? Tell me about the Knight of Wands. Two of Swords and the Sun. Okay, so hmm, Queen of Pentacles at the bottom of the deck. I think this person, you make them nervous. Okay, so whoever is taking their time deciding, you're making the other person nervous. It's like, it's like they want to lock it, lock it down. Is that the phrase? This person doesn't understand. What's the problem? We're happy. We're happy. We're meant to be. We match perfectly. You know, everything seems to be working. You're a dependable partner. I'm a dependable partner. We can be something great together. We can, you know, or at least I'm getting also like, let's just try. 
Uh, maybe this person wants to actually be exclusive with you. And it's like, just give me a chance. You know, that energy of like, let's just try. What's the worst that could happen? Um, I feel like I'm speaking to a Sagittarius where it's not so easy for you to open up and it's not so easy for you to trust because of your history. Let me know if that's, if that's resonating for you in the comments, Sagittarius. Um, for a lot of you, I'm talking about a lot of you, this is someone new, someone with a, that you haven't officially been with because this is a, all about a beginning. This is all about a beginning getting things started it's almost like they just want a chance to start you know it's it's i'm not really getting a lot of energy here of starting over it's more like everything's so great why don't we just keep this going um but there's hesitation there's 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 a decision that would need to be made about that um okay there's someone that's watching <laughs> um the problem is that you are married or they are married or you're committed to someone else um, that's why something hasn't started but something cannot start if you're married I hope that's not a lot of you but <laughs> you know I'm not here to tell anybody what to do I'm just here to tell you the messages that I get okay if this is resonating for you if you're enjoying the reading so far uh, consider hitting that like button subscribing um, because it really helps me out. It's a free way of supporting what I do. YouTube cares about that. I don't really care about it that much, but YouTube does. Tell me about this I feel guilty energy spirit. What's this I feel guilty energy? The moon, Pisces energy. Okay. Tell me about I feel guilty. I feel guilty. Yeah. Okay. And the two of cups. Okay. So what, yeah, there's the two of wands at the bottom of the deck. So basically this person feels guilty for putting you in the position where you are not, it's like they want you to choose, but you don't feel comfortable choosing or they're pushing you to act, but you don't feel comfortable to take the action. So that's what they feel guilty about. Interesting. Don't forget to like the video. If you enjoyed it, subscribe if you haven't already. I'd love to have you. Thank you so much for watching once again, and I'll see you in another video very soon. Take care.